In this video, I'll be covering the basics of formatting a report, setting colors, fonts, resizing columns. I have a shortcut to design reports here on my dashboard. I'm just going to go ahead and click it. It brings up our report designer. In a previous video, I've designed a monthly report, so I'm going to go ahead and open it to start working with it. I'm going to open. It was in my process reports. It's called monthly report number one. So here's a report. Pulls in the data doesn't look very good yet. So what do I need to do to this? I might want to resize some columns to make it look a little better. So to resize a column, notice when I move the mouse between the columns, I can click and drag a column to make it wider. So it's a big, big fat plus. Now it becomes the parallel lines. And I can resize the columns that way. If I want to highlight multiples, I can click and drag. And then if I resize one of them, they all become that width. You can also set colors of cells. So in here, I just highlight my headers. and I'm going to click on my little color wheel here. It comes up. And now I can simply select uh, light yellow as my background. Click OK. And I've set the color. Now over here, I've got uh, some data. don't remember what it is, so I click on it. It'll show me the formula that pulls the data. And also at the bottom it says this is the effluent BOD. So this is my monthly averages for my BOD. So I want to label this maybe month. This is my BOD. And right here I'm going to type in, this is my summary stats. Now, I want to set this font bold. If I highlight these cells right here, this is the button that allows me to merge those cells. This is going to merge and center it. So that starts to look better. And if I make these columns wider, it still goes across those two cells. So here what I probably want to do highlight this, pull down and do an outline border around it, highlight the whole body now, and do all, center that text, set this to bold, and I'm starting to look pretty good. You can also rotate text and merge cells in different ways. So right here I'm going to highlight these cells, merge them, and then use this button to rotate that text, and then center it ver vertically within that cell range. So while most of these formatting options are straightforward, they are different than Excel, so you'll have to play around with them a little bit. But now I've made a much nicer looking report. Again, if I want to set colors, I can highlight a range of cells. Click this, and I've got this button called Set Color for Alternate Rows. So if I go in here and set it very light yellow, and do this, I get a nice strobe effect here that allows me to see that on the ninth, you know, makes it easier to line up the data. This is it for formatting a report. There's other options to play around with, but hopefully this gets you started. Thank you.